Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing some random action figures here on the channel. First, we're going to look at our Hover Bike Skeletor. This is a might be a Marvel vehicle or a DC vehicle. I don't know. But it's just so cool. I added it to my collection. I don't know what figure came with it. But if you know, then please leave me a comment on this on this vehicle. Might have come with a Ghost Rider. I don't know. But he is pretty cool. And now Skeletor, Skeletor from Master of the Universe can be bone to be wild. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't help that. I have a lot of fun here on my channel, and that's the funnest thing I've ever said here on the channel. So much fun to say stuff like that. But next on the list, we got uh, some TMNT figures and a random little figure. Let's look at this random little figure, and it's Tooth... Not Toothless, but Hiccup from DreamWorks Dragons. In action figure form... I thought this figure was so cool when I picked it up. It was just so cute. And I'm going to add it to my personal figure collection. He's got a his metal leg. His body is really well sculpted and painted. Not bad for Hiccup. If I do say so myself. And he's got some armor on. I love some armored figures. Definitely adding him to my random medieval shelf. Because I don't have any medieval figures on much of those on my shelf. But here you can totally give him this sword and you'd be like, for honor and justice. But he doesn't hold it very well. For a figure like that, he can't hold it very well. And now he's in my Helm Steep display, protecting the castle. So that's where I'm going to put Hiccup. Next on the list, we got the 2015 movie Shredder. He's missing his arm armor, but otherwise he's mostly complete. He doesn't have a weapon, so I gave him this sword. He's got bend at the knees, which is pretty cool, for a 2015 toy. If I get a complete one or find his armor bits, I'll probably replace them. But for now, he's an awesome-looking shredder and is my number one favorite posable shredder. Because he's got a lot of articulation and posability. Gotta love that 2015 movie, Shredder. Because he is downright good looking. That's all there is to say for that. Next on the list, we got some 1980s Ninja Turtles. And yes, this is my very first 1980s Ninja Turtle that I found at the flea market with that shredder for only two bucks each. And they are worth the money. If you can find them, they're worth the money. Last but not least on the list, we got my custom cape All Might, since I don't have that first suit All Might, and I did this custom at the Woodlands, and he turned out fantastic. And he can go, I am here. And I just love that cape design I did. And that's not a bad looking custom. Next on the list, we got the last item, this Halo mech suit which looks pretty impressive, if I do say so myself. With the cannon arm, the one posable arm, looks real cool. This is a product shot of the other two I don't have. I think I got this at Dollar General for about five bucks. I'll have to try to get the other two to complete the set. I mean, I'll buy two of these and have two of those melee weapon suits. And it'll look pretty cool. That's all there is to sing. 
for the packaging, let's look at this mech suit in all its glory. Really impressive. The cannon arm go... <laughs> missiles away. <laughs> Little shoulder machine gun. And be like, pow. Bang on the other suit's heads. And he's got some decent articulation. So yeah, bend at the knees. Love that. Go out that far. Back that far. This is a pretty good mech suit. I just love how this thing looks, and it's definitely my favorite mech suit. And I collect a lot of mech suit figures, and this is my first Halo mech suit figure. But now we're going to look at our Spartans here. I had an extra head with that mech suit, so I put it on this body with some fodder pieces. Same one for this guy. So here's my Halo fodder. They look pretty awesome, and I love how they turned out. Probably wondering, what do I got planned this week Week for toy hunt? Well, I did a toy hunt to St. Angela's, and we got one more toy hunt we are going to do this year. We're going to be heading up to the Goody Will tomorrow or the next day. I don't know, but we're going to the Goodwill Outlet by Walmart here in Pittsburgh. In North for sales, and we're hoping to find some epic Holy Grail figure finds. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. Before I move on, I enjoy doing all these figures for all my fans. Now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.